Good morning, folks. We begin with a New York Times article detailing how much land will disappear with sea level rise. If you scroll down, there are dozens of locations, not just these three, and there's a subtle hint of, should we evacuate the East Coast kind of discourse. No, New York. No, you cannot. This is a good article for UK citizens with a similar topic, especially given your recent weather. This image courtesy of the Environmental Visualization Lab. Those who have been here a while know there's a four magnitude line in the sand for the Northeast Caribbean, possibly signaling uptick. Luckily, no major activity on the first day of our quake watch. We have red tide in New South Wales, a gas leak in the North Sea. Tropical Storm Bofa is feeding off warm water and is becoming fairly powerful. Could be a major typhoon by tomorrow as it makes a beeline for the Philippines. Here's the intensity. Back just briefly to Europe, here comes the cold as it creeps in on this week's forecast loop. Notice the UK, Ireland, and Scotland not as affected. Back to Australia and New Zealand, well, not really New Zealand, you guys just enjoy that weather right now. Storms are knocking out Aussie's power daily. Take a look at the shape of the pressure convergence over Australia and the warning for more thunderstorms. Large high pressure peak in the center, which means all the air is pushed away. Please check severe weather warnings near the Gulf when they update midday, there will be some. The North Pacific low is creeping ever closer back to the west coast and growing as she does. The effects from California up into Canada will be back in the coming days, also wind advisories and possible flooding. You remember the active region that came out of nowhere. It is now fully developed with lots of central umbra and having blue and red this close together within the penumbra makes it a delta class sunspot. It only has one more day of geo effectiveness though. On the northeastern limb we do have some larger spots swinging in. On the topic of the inconsistent magnetic field, 1500 UTC two days ago saw magnetic disturbance, plasma penetration, and induction due to a small spike in the solar wind speed. Well, yesterday morning we took the second CME impact. You can see it on the right. Much more significant, but absolutely no effect. Like our shield got called out and stepped up his game. And we had three significant eruptions on the sun last night. The first one is hard to see, but a filament below that dark coronal hole ripped away with minimal ejecta, but in an earth-facing position. Top left, a filament destabilized and released near one of the new active regions, perhaps hailing an uptick to come and hurling a large coronal mass ejection into space that should miss Earth. Finally, the filament below the coronal hole had the northwest portion join its southern brother in ejecting. This could be more geo-effective. As you can see, solar flares are on a slow uptick as the flare watch is in full effect now as well for the next six days. Before any of the three eruptions from last night arrive, we have this and another CME already headed here. Solar wind says we're still waiting. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.08 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.